Are you ready to play the game in space? Well, or just fly by. On Earth, gravity holds you down, so jumping and flying away doesn't work. But if you can gain enough speed, then you can overcome the gravity of the Earth. The force of gravity and the force of inertia balance each other out, and you could fly safely in zero gravity around the Earth. Moving around in weightlessness isn't easy. And certainly not with your lack of grace. Arnold, it seems you've discovered a new type of fuel, hydrogen sulfide. It can help you deal with the monsters. Luckily, you're not the only one who missed pre-flight training. Careful, Arnie. Looks like you broke the seal. Due to the open lock, the balance of gases is all out of whack. Get your suit on, Arnold. Hooray, you did it. But now there's another problem. How are you going to hear the monsters now? I think you'll just scare away all the monsters yourself. No, you're not deaf, Arnold. Sound simply can't travel in a vacuum. Sound travels in waves. Vibrating object transmits its vibration to neighboring molecules or particles. In space, air molecules are so far apart that they can't transmit vibrations. No air, no sound. So it's better you just sit in the closet. As long as they let you anyway. Houston, we have a problem. Is this the last door? I wonder what's behind it. So maybe you'll finally finish school. By the way, the first schools appeared in ancient Sumer about three to 4,000 years ago. In Sumer, school was a privilege and only boys were taught there. So you're in luck, Arnold. Computers haven't been invented yet, so you have to write on soft clay tablets. Foo, what a mess. Yes, you're very lucky to have been born in the 21st century. What, they won't let you go to school because you're an adult? Hmm, we need to look for some unusual schools. Look, it's a door school, and you're already a fan of this game. Go on in. The first lesson is algebra. <laughs> Didn't you read the flyer? The teachers here are monsters. It's very efficient. Arnold, didn't you learn the multiplication table? But alas, in vain. Maybe this school also uses corporal punishment. No, Arnold, you doofberry. I mean, real punishments. Children were beaten for poor performance in ancient Egypt. And in South Korea, for example, a ban on corporal punishment came only in 2010. In the modern world, school is a standard life stage. But not all children have the opportunity to go through this, so many people use sports to rise up the social ladder. Run fast, Arnie, or you'll end up as someone's lunch. To heck with this school. You already know how to read. Almost 20% of humanity can't read and write. So math ain't your thing, and sports tire you out. But I know you love plants and animals, especially animals, especially fried ones. Yay, biology. Hmm, this teacher seems to have his own views on evolution. So, you're looking for a job as a programmer. And what? You've only completed a two-day programming course online? Come on! But in Roblox, in general, you can make games without knowing how to program. True, very few people manage to create a game where they can actually make some money. The very idea of the platform arose back in 1989 with the aim of creating a simulator for studying physics. The beta version of Roblox was introduced in 2004. That is, Roblox is older than the average player. In 2016, Roblox only had 10,000 accounts. In 2019, a billion. Can can you imagine how much money you could make? But doing it on the cheap won't work. An initial investment is needed. The first investment in Roblox was $560,000. Tic-tac-toe? Arnold, do you really think anyone is going to fall for this? Wow, you convinced them to give you money. A very rash decision on their part. It looks like someone is going to spend all their money before the game is released. A really great game can be made by just a few people in a garage. It's not like everybody needs to make a new Google. Don't celebrate just yet. So, Arnold, it's time to repay those loans with interest. You may have thought that 1% interest wasn't a whole lot.
but that's per day. That's 365% per year. And taking into account compound interest, you now owe several times more than you borrowed. Hundreds of thousands of bankruptcies are registered every year in America alone. 70% of startups fail in their first year and another 25% over the next few years. You really don't have enough money for this, Arnold. You're going to have to work for the next 10,000 years. Now you have nothing to eat and nowhere to live. Great game, Arnold. Hey. And I'm not even going to try to stop him. Bravo! That was epic, Arnold! Why do you look so surprised? You opened a dimensional portal and the universe threw you into a GTA 5 game. Welcome to Los Santos. Are you ready to become the richest and most powerful man in the city? Get in the car and let's go! Meet Michael, one of the three main characters of the game. What about the first mission? Show us your shooting skills, Arnie! So, more to the point, it's no secret that Los Santos is totally criminal and a very dangerous city. To begin with, I propose we change your image. Otherwise, you look like a Minecraft fan. A couple of brutal tattoos certainly wouldn't hurt. Now, you're a real gangster ready to rob a bank. Plan is this. You quietly enter the building, shoot the armored glass out, blow up the vault door, and take all the gold. Now let's blow this taco stand. To run faster, in GTA, you don't need to run, but to jump. Did you know that the real weight of the weapons and gold that you now have is over half a ton? But in GTA, it doesn't matter. They're right behind you. You need to hide. And do this is very simple. You just need to hide in a quiet place, and after a while, they'll forget about you. Wow, look! You've done really well, Arnold! Now you can safely spend your money on parties, expensive suits, buy up all the real estate in the city, and wake up to the most beautiful view from your window. But this gets pretty boring pretty fast. Did you forget? You're a real gangster now, Arnie! Oh yeah! The extreme car chase! It's really cool! Move, Arnold! Or you get shot! An airplane? That's like if you know how to fly in GTA. Hmm, it seems you're out of luck, Arnold. Somehow you've ended up in a modified GTA with a giant megalodon. All right, you're wasted, Arnold. Mission failed. Wait, Arnold, you survived! What is this? New GTA! is lava, but here it's real lava. Cool, right? This is what an ordinary children's game can lead to. Global catastrophe. Don't touch the floor, Arnie. The temperature of lava can reach 1,200 degrees Celsius. You can move around using any items you see. But remember, the chair will burn up in just three seconds. Your bed will disappear in five, and your TV will melt faster than a single TV commercial. Come up onto the roof. Hey, don't fall off. If you fall into the lava, you'll get a serious burn that'll destroy all your nerve endings and boil your subcutaneous fat. But on the bright side, this does mean you won't even have time to feel how the lava burns you all the way to the bone. Get it together, man. Oh no, you idiot! Metal constructions will always heat up the fastest, you dimwit. But take it easy. Even if you fall, you won't drown. Lava is not as liquid as it seems. Counterintuitively, its density is even higher than that of concrete. As for walking on lava, you simply need special asbestos boots just like geologists use. Wow, it's getting hot! At this temperature, all the water in the oceans will boil and turn into a ginormous pod of fish soup. It's time to save the world's last fish. But really, the worst thing is not the hot lava, but what happens when it cools down? As it loses temperature, lava creates acid clouds of steam and gas, and they contain teeny tiny glass particles that are dangerous to humans. But don't worry, soon the whole world will turn into the Hawaiian Islands. Yo! 
Wow, this is Seiko Shidori, former captain of the Sky Guard. As a child, he was admitted to the Heaven Corps, where he defended his country from the Shingami, vampires, pirates, and girls und Panzer. When all his friends turned away from him, he was left alone with the darkness inside of him. Arnold, you are now in the most popular anime genre, Shonen. Shonen is a story about a hero that starts out at the bottom, then makes his way to the top, finally defeating his main opponent. You have to train hard to get stronger and understand his philosophy. Forward is the only way. Meet anime high school culture, an important period in the life of any anime teenager. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. In anime, every girl is perfect. For some men, this overestimates the requirement for their significant other. And often enough, this rivalry is won by the wife, the drawn wife. Arnold, it seems like you were born to be an anime. A utopia like this can only be prevented by Gundams from the mecha and kaiju genres. To create an anime, you first have to draw a manga. Manga is pretty much just like a comic book, only you read it backwards. In Japan, they use more paper to print manga than for toilet paper. Anime has grown from cheap animation into an entire thriving industry. By the way, those two girls are your stepsisters. Don't worry, it's okay in the etchy genre. There he is, and you are prepared for this battle. Release your Bankai, and don't waste your Furioku. Hajime, harness the power of the founding time. Titan, control your Reiatsu. Seiko Shidori is weak. Only darkness is left at his disposal. And you have the light given to you by friendship. Remember what this is all for. And don't let anyone knock you off your feet! We're holding an Among Us style party. It's a popular game with over 500 million players and more than any other game in history. With 97% of players playing the free version on mobile devices, but most of the revenue is generated from the paid PC version. Of course, we're playing the free version. If it's free, I'll play as well. And I chose Brown for a reason, because he's kicked out less than 65% of the time. In more than 90% of votes, people choose to kick out black, and it's the exact color you have, Arnold. Let the games begin! The most important thing is to act quickly, because you can be killed at any time. And here's the first murder. Don't worry, we have a lot of detectives here. They'll immediately figure out that you're not the imposter. Oops. I'm pretty sure you were thrown under the bus here, Arnold. It's time to get the hell out of here before you're checked out into space. You need to complete tasks in the game to make it clear to the rest of the players that you're not the imposter. Whoops. This room is already occupied. Let's not disturb this couple. There's a new task. You need to extinguish the fire in the electrical room. Looks like it worked. They believe you. Come on, help out this player. I think I saw a fire extinguisher. Arnold, someone is seriously trying to frame you. Moreover, according to statistics, the electrical and admin rooms are the most dangerous places. If you're actually an imposter, you need to blow up the engine and win the game. It's not working. That's cool, Arnold. So you aren't an imposter. Congratulations. Careful. Got you, my friend. Forgive me. We had fun. But now you and I have to part ways. But we know for sure you're not an imposter. Now we just have to find out who is. But sometimes the imposter is much closer than it seems. This is another lesson for you. Arnold, there are no friends in Among Us. <laughs> Minecraft or real life? It'd probably be cool if when life seemed too difficult, you could choose an easier mode. Here you need fear neither scary stuff nor hunger. But it's really not that interesting. Let's choose survival mode. Now we have to act like in real life. Find food, build a house, defend yourself, and gain experience. Of course, it's much easier to do it in the game. With just one pickaxe, you can cut down a tree that will hang in the air, and you can get stoned by just breaking it for a few seconds. A day here lasts just 20 minutes, and even your pitiful, pixelated face can get someone's attention. You can eat as much fast food as you want, and you won't get fat. That's a plus. 
You'll always be comfortable any time of the year. And you don't even have to buy clothes. And you can use a cactus in your house instead of a trash can. It can make any object disappear. If you're bored, you can rename a sheep and it will shimmer in different colors. And yes, here, you can just meet a sheep on the street. Don't forget, it's Minecraft. Time to go home. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's easy to get your house stolen or destroyed. Looks like game over. Wait, do you like cosplay festivals? Oh, I see. Tagai Bertha is here. Alas, she's only interested in Minecraft. You gotta grab the whole of Minecraft and place it at Tagai's feet. But this is gonna take some time. There are approximately 920 quadrillion blocks in the entire world of Minecraft in all dimensions. One streamer completely kicked butt, mining 32 million blocks in just 2,500 hours. Arnie, you can do it, but you're gonna have to sacrifice your time and your health. Every hour of extended sitting reduces your life by 22 minutes. And for those who sit for 11 hours, life is reduced by 40%. Plus, there's diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and early death. Oh, Arnie, did you already build your own castle out of sand? This ain't gonna work. You need a Minecraft takeover team. The best team. Ready. Now it's much easier to play. Or maybe not. During a game, one's eyes blink only four times per minute. Due to this, the protective film of the eyes quickly dries out. And if you add the action of heaters, then you, Arnie, now feel a hellish pain. But for you, this ain't nothing. After all, soon your mighty army will take over the world of Minecraft. It remains only for you to press the button and give the order. But where are your fingers? You've been playing too long. Your brain no longer can distinguish between reality and gameplay. Arnie, you seriously need a rest. You're already starting to look like a creeper. What are you doing? You'd better go out for some fresh air. Well, that's not the same. And here is Bertha. While you were taking over Minecraft, she changed her hobby. She's now a Harry Potter fan. You want to try and take over Hogwarts? Good morning, Arnie Pig. Look, it's the famous Peppa Pig family. You're so lucky, Arnie. So many people would love to be in your shoes right now. Where are your manners, Arnold? The Peppa family are very conservative and intelligent British natives. Please, don't embarrass me. The Peppa Pig series has been translated into more than 40 languages and has been shown in 180 countries. Annual revenues exceed $1 billion. Approximately the same amount earned by Al Capone and his Chicago gang. Are you absolutely sure you want to put this business in jeopardy? Ooh. Now, it looks like the real cartoon series. Mummy Pig teaches you how to hold a spoon, and Peppa teases Daddy Pig about his weight. The format of the three-minute series very quickly found its audience. During this time, the authors show a familiar, everyday situation and teach kids how to live life. Arnold, these are the famous puddle jumps. Look, everyone's in their branded shoes. Stop, where are you going? We already talked about this. Arnold, the police won't help you because Mrs. Rabbit, their family friend, works there. And now you're going to play a terribly interesting game, Hungry Pig. Peppa's popularity has gone far beyond the show. In just one year, the company sells... What the heck is going on here? Well, Arnold, I've had enough. Take care of yourself, buddy. George, what a meeting. Look, have you ever wondered what would happen if you were buried alive? The stains are electrified. It seems a serious duel is brewing. A card duel. Let's see what you have in your hand, Arnie. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Oh, God. In 1993, Magic the Gathering gave a real boost to collectible card games. Their value depends on the uniqueness of the cards and their condition. For example, the most expensive card featuring Pikachu is valued at $5,275,000. But just by sticking it in your pocket, its value instantly drops to just 
$50. That won't do, Arnold. If you want to be the best, you and your friend need to take on the fate of a real Pokemon trainer. Stand in one place and don't leave it for all of your life. Yes, for the most part. In the world of Pokemon, trainers do exactly this until the next champion comes and grinds you and your stuffed animal into dust. But that's not the worst part, Arnold. Standing in one place for so long is bad for the intestines. Reduced blood flow disrupts their work and causes constipation. After a week, your legs will have bruises the size of quarters. After a year, your spine will deform and your hip bones will compress all your organs up to your lungs. Like any Pokemon trainer, you should have a rival. And here he is, Seiko Shidori. Look, he's collected badges from all the leagues. He even defeated Whitney's mill tank. His parents died in a car accident, but he has two holo cards of them. But most importantly, he successfully speedran Pokemon Rangers while performing open-heart surgery. Did you know that speedrunners emerged in the 70s with the release of the first video games? The average gameplay of Pokemon Red and Blue on Game Boy is 25 hours, while the speedrunner record is 1 hour 50 minutes and 17 seconds. You, Arnold, take even longer to make your bed. Forget everything I've told you, Arnold. Badges and heart surgeries don't matter if you don't believe in your Pokemon. Seiko Shidori only believes in power, but real power is the ability to love and understand. I didn't know you were into football. You don't stop surprising me. Eh, the joy was short-lived. Be careful, or do you actually like dead pixels on your TV screen? What in the monkey butt are you up to? Well, Arnold, that's definitely in character for you. Now that's a quantum leap. Apparently, the results of a very important match depends on you, and you are now football star Ronaldo. No, it's a common mistake. This is Ronaldo, a Brazilian player, and you're the holder of five golden balls, Cristiano Ronaldo, the Portuguese player. It's time to strike. Well, what did I expect with your physical form? Now, probably you should run away from all of the furious fans. Fortunately, you can hide from the millions of angry fans in your huge house. Arnaldo, you're in the servant's house, dumbass. Your magnificent mansion is a little further up the road. Such a huge house must have servants. In addition, there's a gym, a swimming pool, a billiard room, a spa, and two secret entrances that guarantee that no journalist will ever see you. Arnaldo, where are you? Oh, I know. Can you imagine that Ronaldo's body is only 7% body fat, though he's 35 years old? According to his biological readings, he has the health and body of a 23-year-old. Cristiano consumes about 3,000 calories a day, which he breaks up into six smaller meals. I know you do this too, but you don't move at all. Did you really think everything was going to be so easy? Cristiano has the most popular Instagram on Earth, with almost 250 million subscribers, which is like 34% of Europe's population, or 76% of the USA's. And since they can't get to you in the real world, they're going to get you through the internet. Did you somehow manage to screw this up as well? Looks like it's time to run away from your own house, dipwad. <gasps> yes, this is your garage. McLaren Senna, Rolls-Royce Phantom, Bugatti Chiron and Veyron, and a Ferrari 599 worth $7 million. Just don't slip on your saliva. Or I guess it can help you sail aboard your plush, luxury, $6 million, 27-meter yacht. Well, looks like you found a way to dodge the bullet once again. Arnold, watch out! The situation's not looking very good, Arnold. Wow, looks like you got lucky again, buddy. What's up? Yeah. Looks like everything's getting weird and buggy. <laughs> Distinguishing virtual reality from reality is becoming more and more difficult every day. Ooh, deja vu. Calm down, you 
paranoid pinhead? Stray animals often break into houses to find food. Or maybe the world around you is a simulation. Relax, buddy, it's an optical illusion. If you change your viewing angle, everything falls into place. But after all, truth be told, everything you see really is just a figment of your brain's imagination. Light entering your retina is converted into an impulse that transmits information to the visual image processing system. From there, the signal goes to your brain and you see what you see. And when, woo, woo, what a beauty. Hmm, another glitch or a consequence of popular trends in mass markets. Such synchronicity can make you think you're losing your mind. Yes, Arnold, you're right, this definitely needs to be recorded. But take your phone out of your pocket slowly and carefully, buddy. Or the police might think that you're reaching for a weapon. This is how the illusion works. The reticular formation in your brainstem becomes excited. Hey, where are you going, you coward? Arnold, who's this? No, 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 don't even think about it. This is not the Matrix. That's a bad idea, Arnold. Almost as bad as making a sequel to the legendary trilogy. Meet Arnold is a hallucination, and the effects are now 300 times stronger. And Arnold's brain turns into goo. In fact, just like him, this requires serious medical intervention. What the heck? Am I, am I glitching now too? Wait, what's that? A dating app? That's smart. Your head fits perfectly on this jacked up body. <gasps> Lucky you. <gasps> but now, in order to go on a date, you have to spend 18 hours and 45 minutes on a plane. Because this is the longest flight in the world. Huh? And you screwed up again. <sighs> Now you have to complete three tasks to meet your chosen one. Or just survive. Let's see what your advantages are. Small brain, feeble hands, fast food lover. Everything is like in real life. Now choose your skin. You can't go on a date empty-handed. Find something, Arnie. Hmm, the biggest flower in the world. Phew, it stinks like rotten meat. If your girlfriend was a fly, she'd appreciate the fragrance. These cute creatures simply want to give you malaria, anthrax, or diarrhea. Nothing crazy. What, they did already? There aren't many public toilets in the jungle, but instead you can do it like our ancestors did. <gasps> this is a scavenger, Arnie. They pick up everything that stinks. It'd be better if you washed in the morning. Get on the vines. They can handle even an elephant. Hmm. After one and a half hours, the gastric juice of the python will completely digest your bones. You need a knife to cut the belly. That would have saved you on a date with a woman, but not with a python. I caught a python. Let's see what's inside it. Only I can be the survival expert here. Cow! Get yourself in order. You have a date soon, what? and you're covered in mucus and slime. You survived and didn't even lose a single finger. Jumanji! <laughs> the average distance from Earth to the moon is 384,467 kilometers, and every year the moon moves <laughs> three and a half centimeters further away. In the entire history of humanity so far, only 12 people have stepped on the surface of the moon. You will be the 13th. I agree, it's not the luckiest number, but just imagine, there'll be no one on the moon except for you. True, this ain't Miami. The temperature is minus 173 degrees Celsius. And everywhere you go, there's radiation 200 times higher than on Earth. So you can't do it without a spacesuit. 
But in the meantime, as a tourist, you can check into the hotel. Although construction isn't slated until 2025. Let's go to the far side of the moon. Especially because there's a bunch of cool equipment left there by astronauts. Arnold, jump into the lunar rover, start the engine, and drive. Believe it or not, there are a few lunar seas. Only, they're not filled with water, but solidified lava. Arnold, wrong pedal! Hit the brake! Congratulations, Arnold. You just smashed into the U-22 Chinese lunar rover. And you damaged your spacesuit. Oh, no. Houston, we have a problem. Don't worry, Arnold. Help is on the way. True, it's gonna take them three days to get here and try to conserve your oxygen. 